Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so I feel it's really important that I start off on a positive. So I have recently uploaded a clip where I have shown the extent of just how much hair I have been losing. Um, now, you may not think looking at this, but I can assure you there is more air than hair here, but it's me embracing the natural texture um, in my hair. But I just want to carry on from what I was just mentioning uh, about starting on something positive. So firstly, I just want to say a huge thank you because I have uploaded my experience of uh, my recent hair loss uh, since May of this year. We are now on the 30th of September. Um, the support and the amazing comments which I have had back from people. And these are subscribers, treasured subscribers, part of my community, who have been with me since my very, very few subscribers. Um, and it's just been really, really great. It's been really great to have their insight, to have their view, to have their support. Um, so it's absolutely amazing. So to everybody who's seen that, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. And if you haven't seen it yet, do go over and have a look at that because you'll really see what I'm dealing with. Um, and the impact, I think, is quite clear that it has in that clip. It was really quite difficult to do. I'm very glad that I done a clip and I'm very glad that I captured that on my channel. My hair had been getting worse since May. It's still not particularly great. Um, unfortunately, I think it may even be getting a little bit worse before it gets better. Um, I am having some tests for thyroid function and everything in about a week's time. So I'm hoping the results come back and help me with what's going on there. Um, if not, we'll reevaluate it and we'll go from there. But like everything in my life, if... And I think it's when we get these difficult times in our life, particularly I am, I have a huge passion for hair, for all things hair, um, men's hair, women's hair, that, I think it, that kind of feeling where it can make us either feel on top of the world or it can make us feel really grim and down. I find that is so powerful and I'm just so interested around that. And ultimately I love to look smart, I love to look professional and just on point, I'm in a very professional role um, in accountancy um, and I like to look good all the time. Not for anybody else. Sadly, I'm not married. I don't have a beautiful wife at the moment. I don't have my family or anything just yet, but hopefully fu future that's on the cards. But for me, it's just for me. I'm proud. I like to be smart all the time. So with that said, as you can well imagine for anybody, it's difficult enough for a woman to lose her hair. But when a man starts having problems with your hair, you're very much just as expected just to expect it and just to get on with it. But for me, it has really changed. It's all on this side. And you can see this behind here is just a little part of it here, but today my scalp's showing quite a bit in the in the front here, a little bit. But the texture. So what I've done is I've just this is there is no product in this by the way at all. Um, there is but one product, sorry, and that is described as a hairspray. Um, but it's actually not. And I have reviewed this and it's got no hold whatsoever. Um, just a very very subtle kind of conditioning element in it, I feel, and then it just makes the hair a little bit firm. So mm -hmm. it's got no hold to it. It's just got a really nice softness, a really nice sleekness, and it just works with me to add that texture. So I washed my hair through this morning. Okay, now I've been really working hard at trying to treat my scalp well um, and looking after my scalp. I'm not going too crazy, not going too harsh, not using harsh products and things. So I'm using a non-sulfate shampoo and conditioner at the moment by Yves Rocher. Unfortunately, I haven't got that. It's in the family bathroom. I'll be honest, somebody's in there right now. <laughs> so I can't go and grab it for you. And I wanted to do this clip right now because I'm ready to get ready for the evening to be quite honest with you and relax but i want to do this clip first of all so i will add it on the end of the clip it is in a green bottle it's yves rocher it is white lupin extract and it is quite simply one of my favorite go-to products for changes in my hair um and particularly right now as well this last three week window i've noticed a huge difference in my hair on this side um, but how I've done it today, I've strategically kind of gone throughout the middle here, not used a comb, bearing in mind I've not brushed this hair today at all. So, and you may think he's got super curly hair. I actually haven't. Parts of my hair are, and other parts are super, super straight. You might be able to see a part, actually, yeah. And all I've done, okay, is I've used the shampoo and the conditioner, the Yves Rocher, the white lupin extract one, which is really, really, very good, and I'd recommend that to anybody. I buy it from Amazon, but actually recently my parents back and forth Cyprus very often. They bought that for me as a gift from Cyprus. I bought it when I went to Cyprus back in May, came home, found it on Amazon UK. I buy it here, and then my mum treated uh, me to it on her way back. She's recently just got back from there with my dad. 
So I'm using that, I've been using it on and off for a little while. Um, and I do mix it up with different products because I find that our hair gets used to these products. So it's important to kind of chop and change it, but use products which are great for you. So at the moment, because I'm having problems with my hair loss in scalp, I'm using a non-sulfate. Um, so that's just looking after my scalp a little bit more. The white lupin extract, absolutely great for keeping that energy in the actual hair bulb itself and keeping that energy, that revitalization to hopefully help and slow down the hair full at the moment i'll be very honest it does control it nothing's helping too much at the moment but from my conversations of my recent uh, appointment with my doctor um they're thinking because of other health issues and things i've got going on at the moment it's potentially sensitive to my thyroid so having some tests for that and i will report back on the channel after when i receive the results from that but what i've done today is i've washed and conditioned it through i have not brushed this i've not brushed this at all um then what i've done is with my fingers okay i have just literally what's the word to loose you could say i've literally just pulled my fingers throughout my hair okay so shampooed conditioned my hair this morning and then what i have done i've just gradually let it dry i've tried to do very little with it i'm not pulling or tugging or anything on my scalp i've not even combed it today um i've lightly gone through it with my fingers as you can see just like this and i've got a bit of a wave in my hair and I grabbed this spray, which I'm using. This is the All Day Frizz Control Jason since 1959 Thin to Thick Extra Volume Hairspray. Lifts, amplifies fine hair of long lasting hold. No parabens, phytophthalates, sulfates, or synth synthetic fragrances. Now, for me, if you wanted that as a hairspray and you're thinking that that's an extreme hold, no, there's no hold to it at all. Absolutely no hold to it at all. There is a review, so at the end of this clip, I will put this review, okay? And I will put my Yves, Yves Rocher shampoo and conditioner, um, because that's one I would really recommend if you're like me and you're having problems with hair full at the moment. But this, all I do, okay, is I just, I, I literally hold my hair up as it was drying, okay? And I was just spraying a little bit through. I think I can probably do it now, actually. So it's a light mist, okay? And then I just hold it like this. It is quite water-based, so it makes the hair quite wet. So I don't think it would really work as a hairspray. And then what I've done is I've just done this. And as my hair is dried, i just then gone in, literally lifted it a little bit in places. Look at that. It looks like I've got tons more hair. But realistically, you and I know from my recent clip that... The hair on the front here is changing. It, you can see a bit more scalp than what I would like here. But what I've done is I've took the one from the front, brought it through to the front here, and then just put it off to the side. So it makes the front there a little bit more thicker. Yes, you can see the area where it starts to become a patch wall underneath here. But I like it. And you know, I think it looks really cool. And actually, my twin brother, <laughs> he thought, he suggested that I was from some other exotic part of the world. And um, yeah, we had a bit of a laugh and joke about that this morning. But it's starting to go a little bit puffy at the bottom here. But you know, I've done this at just before six o'clock this morning it is now 20 to 7 in the evening and i think i've been out this afternoon um with family i've been out this afternoon um doing some grocery shopping and things and and it's, and it's actually windy outside at the moment with quite a, a little bit of like sort of light rain and um yeah i've not sort of held back it's moved around it's gone quite and as you can see it's not frizzy it's quite cool i won't do it too much on this side because i'm trying to discuss this side but through these things, you've got to stay positive. And you know what? Embrace your hair texture. So everybody's hair texture, or if you're thinking, I've got no texture in my hair, you have. It's probably just because you haven't necessarily paid too much attention to it. Number one, because why would you? If you found a star which you absolutely love, why would you? But you know, until you have a problem with your hair and it starts to actually make you realize I've got to do something different because what I'm doing now clearly isn't working for my hair and scalp. Well, I started to sort of look at this and think, you know what? What can I... What style can I have? What's going to look good for a moment? Well, I need to do as little to it as possible. I don't need to use any products, no hairspray, no anything like that at all. Just this, which yes, you could argue this is a hairspray, but it's not. It's got some great ingredients in here as well. Um, just very quick off the top of my head. It's got eucalyptus uh, leaf oil in here. It has got tea tree oil in here. It's got spearmint leaf oil in here. It's got black human seed oil in here. It's got rosemary leaf oil in here, which is said to help stimulate hair growth as well so who knows i'm only just saying it's something i read off online and i have read interesting articles about rosemary leaf oil before i have tried using that um, with a carrier oil um, on my scalp recently however i haven't reported it on my channel because this whole medical thing going on at the moment so i want to deal with that then when i can kind of hopefully stabilize my hair then i'm going to bring that to you and really show you uh 
the rosemary leaf oil. So that's really, really great as well. And I bought that in Holland and Barrett's here in the UK. So if you're looking at trying that, I urge you to try that because that's supposedly meant to be a really great hero product for people with scalp related problems, slow hair growth, hair loss, thinning hair, that type of thing for men and women. But ultimately getting back to this really great spray and this holds it in place. And as you can see, I sprayed it here and all it's done is it's just really uniformed this kind of look. And as you can see, if I lift some of the pieces, I haven't got wavy hair, but it's found a slight sort of pattern, and that looks really, really good. That looks really, really good. I'm not so keen liking this bit under here, but there we go. It's been a long day. <laughs> it's been a long day, but ultimately, I think it really looks quite cool. I don't know about you, but as you can see, I've dressed it up with a nice casual jumper underneath, and I've got a blazer on here with some skinny jeans and boots, and I'm ready to go. So it's been a really cool day. Um, I've worked today as well, so this style has worked for me all the way through. Um, and yeah, really, really like it. And as I say, once you experience a change in your hair, start to embrace your hair texture. If you've got a little bit of a wave pattern, if you've got a little bit of texture in your hair, switch away from using the blow dryer, the straighteners, all of those type of things, and the strong sprays, the strong leave-in treatments, that type of thing for gloss, for shine, one thing or another, which I know a lot of uh, women and men, of course, may be interested in doing as well. But try to really tone back and embrace what you already have. So for me, this was just letting it air dry a little bit and then spraying a little bit of a light hold product or a conditioning product would work the same because I've done that before as well. My hair was much shorter and it works. Um, and you get this nice texture because that's, of course, the texture I've got. But if you've got a little bit of texture in your hair, keep working at it. So if you've washed your hair, shampooed and conditioned it, don't comb it, okay? Scrunch it in your hands, flip your head forward, okay? A little bit of leave-in spray, flip your head back, okay? Let it dry a little bit. If you're thinking it's not really held, do it again, flip your hair forward. And when I say that, I mean literally, flip your hair forward in the front of you, okay? Spray it a little bit more and have that sort of build effect. So first of all, shampoo, conditioner. Flip your head forward when you've towel dried it a little bit. Spray a little bit of product throughout your hair. Could be a leave-in conditioner. Could be a little bit of a spray. Okay, then flip your head back. Do what you're doing for a couple of minutes or maybe 10, 15 minutes when it's nearly then dry. Flip your head forward again. Okay, this is all I've done pretty much today. And then spray a little bit more product to loose it through of your fingers. Okay, then leave it dry again. And then a little bit of a lasting conditioning spray or uh, a light hold flexible hairspray. And then you've got that style. You've got a little bit of volume, that little bit of texture. And it's your texture, don't forget, as well. Now, I know a little. Um, uh, there are a lot of tools out there for women to be able to use and gain a really nice wave and a curl pattern in your hair. For example, the real traditional sort of roller set or the ceramic roller set or the metal rollers. Of of course, you've got curling iron, you've got curling ones, that type of thing. But as a guy, you don't want to be doing any of that. Why would you want to be doing that? If you do, fantastic. For me, number one, I have not got the time, I have not got the patience at all, wouldn't want to. And that for me is just borderlining too much into feminine hair care, which is not a problem. But of course, that's not something which I want to do. So for me, I want it to be quick, I want it to be easy. So ultimately, I've took a product like this. I've used natural air. I've not used heat in my hair at all today, so that saved my hair a little bit more as well. I've not used a comb. It's nice and gentle on my scalp and just really great results. And as I say, it's still looking good. It's still looking great. And we're nearly seven o'clock in the evening and I've done this before six o'clock this morning. So there we go. Thank you very much indeed for watching this clip. As I say, if you've got texture in your hair, do a little bit of exploring and do try your own hair texture out. If you think you've got the thinnest, finest, thinning hair ever and you can see your scalp and forgive me if I'm sat here and you're thinking he's got tons of hair. Everybody's everybody's journey with hair loss, hair thinning, one thing or another is different. But if you're sat there and you've got tons more hair and you're worried about your hair thinning, get to it straight away because prevention is better than cure. If you're sat there and you've got very, very little hair and you can see your scalp through and you're really worried and it's affecting your confidence, number one, book an appointment with a medical professional, your family doctor, and talk it through with them before you start any other products. Because I always say your inner health is the inner expression of your hair. It's like the shining light of your health, you could say, hair. And I do truly believe that. I've had a lot of stomach related issues, one thing or another, and kind of all different ailments and sort of a long history of things in the background going on. And my hair's been suffering. I've been really, really stressed. I'm dealing with the bereavement of my treasured nan, who it breaks my heart daily. So all of these things I'm juggling and dealing with at the moment, I was expecting this to happen. Unfortunately, not to the extent of which it has happened. But if you're sat there, let me tell you something. Your hair, if it's the thinnest hair possible, does not change the amazing person you are sat right here watching this. And thinning hair for a man or a woman, for a woman can still be amazingly beautiful 
and for a guy can be really really cool as well. It's just finding the right tips and tricks which works for you. So embrace your hair texture if you can. If you don't know how, first of all, the most simplest thing to do is shampoo and condition your hair, leave it, scrunch it, towel dry it with the towel, but be really, really careful. Try and use microfiber if you can, because you don't want that unnecessary texture on your scalp. Do not brush it. Use your fingers, what God gave you, and to loose your fingers through your hair. Leave, let it dry a little bit. Spray a little bit of root lifting spray, or a spray like what I've got here, or a little bit of flexible hairspray. Brush it through with your fingers for again. Don't use a comb or a brush. You're going to be building that texture. Then lift the hair, spray it a little bit more. Let it dry a little bit more with the uh, natural air. Okay, fantastic. Build it. You will see texture build. And if it doesn't work for you first time, try it. Try it when you're on your own. Try it when you've got a bit of spare time. I guarantee you, you will find hair texture. Okay, thank you very much for joining me on this clip. And until next time, I really hope you can join me. Absolutely amazing. I've loved doing this. And thank you so much for being there. And you know what? It's just really, really great that you're here. So from the my bottom of my heart, thank you so much. It really does mean the world to me. Until next time, I'll be seeing you then. Bye for now. God bless.